Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Python. Today I'll be showing you how to create a music playlist using the audio player we created in part one. And what this playlist will do is it will upload all the songs within a folder in a list and then what you'll do is you'll have to select the song that you want and it will play that. So as I alluded to earlier, this is a second part in what we created in part one which looked something like this, if I run this, where we had this sort of setup going where you could play the song and then stop it and then the name of the song was below. So what we'll be doing is we'll be um, taking away that label frame, putting the song name on top and having the playlist here instead. So let me talk through how we got from this code here to um, this code here which is below. I've graded it out because what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you step by step how I do it, how I did it and then I'll be doing it with you so you can see exactly what needs to be done. So the first thing I did was to get rid of this label frame here and so just completely delete it and like so and then because that's just not needed. So part of um, going a step up is taking things away as well as adding extra functionality. And the second thing I did was to group all these packs together because before it was laid out really nicely where you created the buttons and you then packed it below. But um, that didn't make the code as functional as it could be. So what we want to do, because we've increased the functionality, we want to um, also um, change the order of the code so we've what I've done is I've put all the packs together so I can't remember how I did this so I've got this below here as like a reference because I did quite a few changes so yeah what I did is I called it um, I did a sort of lab label title here called place widgets place widgets it if I can spell widgets and then what I did is I put all the packs below here like so let me just get them all together like this like that and then like this so then we had three packs here and we just group these together like so um, so that what that does is that means that you can also change the layouts more easy than last time as well. The next thing I did was to separate these inits out here. So what I did is I created um, a new title as well called um, Pi Game um, it, uh, to put inits, and then I put these in here. So now they're outside of the functions, but they still, the function still works. It's just that um, these are now put outside. And then the next thing I did was to, oh yeah, and title, did that. And then the next thing I did was to download some extra songs ready for the next step. So I created a new folder uh, within tutorial sheets folder, my tutorial sheets folder, and then I called it more songs and I just downloaded a few more songs here, uh, ready to um, load into my playlist. The next thing I did was to import the OS module. And this is, so what we want to do is we want to be able to um, read and um, print out all the songs within a particular folder. And we do that by using the OS module. So we type in import OS and what I did was um, created a whole new playlist, uh, playlist section here, this section here. So um, also where I put it is also important. So I put it here and I called it playlist register. And what I did is I used the OS dot um, change directory. I think I had a few um, print checks as well here. Oh, I did, yeah. Um, OS to change, and I changed it to the name of the file here. 
so like so so instead of having file file equals and then the name of the song what we have now is just the name of the folder where the song is in so now we can get rid of this get song and we can always do a print check as well always useful uh, where is it here and then let me just do this actually it's easier and here like so and then what I did was use the list directory command to create a song list so what that does now is I have we have gone in uh, we have selected a folder and we've listed all the songs in that folder and called it song list and what we next next thing we need to do is now um, create an area within our um, audio player where we can see the names of the songs in a nice list and that's the next thing we do which is to create our playlist so playlist um, input let's say can't remember what I put it as below and then what I did was create an entry um, widget using the TK inter module so uh, where is it um, here yeah so I created a sort of yeah a list box so if I just quite simply do this a bit easier so I put I created tkr.list box and I put it into the player and then what I did is we have to make it so that you can see what song is highlighted and so that only one song can be selected at a time and that's exactly what I did so in order to do that you put the highlight color equal to blue and then the select mode equal to tkr.single and um, that, that way it restricts you to only one selection and you'll be able to see that selection highlighted in blue and I've equaled that to playlist and the next thing we need to do now is do a put in a sort of print check um, here so I should enable these print checks and so we can just see so um, in these print checks I just want to be able to see what I'm expecting to see and if I don't um, see it then something's gone wrong and then what we need to do also is what that will do is just print the entire um, um, contents of the folder into one line so what we need to do is we need to have um, the list box where each song is a new row in the list so we start at row zero and then the next song, second song in the folder of playlist will be row one and then the third song in the folder playlist will be row two and so on and so forth and we do that by using a for loop so we go um, for item in playlist and playlist is the list box we um, insert position oh, sorry we do for item in song list and the song list is our list directory command within the folder we insert uh, a song uh, where the position starts off as zero and goes up in increments of one every time the loop uh, runs and then in each position we insert the item which is the song so in that way we create a really nice list and so the next thing we need to do is um, modify uh, this bit here where we just before we had the name of the file and we just loaded the file in our play function but now oh, what happened there but now what we need to do is we need to load what song we have selected in the playlist and we do that by making use of the active function in the TK inter module and we simply type in playlist dot get and we type in tkr.active so here we go so in our play function we need to type in instead of file we type in playlist.get and then within the brackets of get we type in tkr.active 
and that will get our active selection within the playlist list box. And then the next thing we need to do is put our song name on the top of the whole TKR screen and we do that by creating a um, label like we did last time and we um, we use a string variable to store the name of the song and then whenever a new song is called we play this we call this the updated string variable and so how we update the string variable is we need to add a new line in here called var, var dot set um, music playlist var dot set playlist and then within var dot set we type in playlist dot get and then we we use the tkr dot active module again to get the name of the song so what we should have in our audio player so. Let me go back to our previous version here where we had our song name here we should have it at the top here and then here where the song name is currently we should have a playlist where we can select what song we want to play and the play and stop should still be fully functional so if we then uh, this contents one dot pack oh yeah because that should be song title dot pack so let me just run through and check that i've got everything uh yeah we forgot to pack the playlist itself so at the moment we'll just be packing the buttons and the song title but we also need to add the playlist itself by typing playlist.pack and what we want to do is we want to fill up the rest of the screen in the audio player so we type in fill and then in brackets we put both and then expand equal to yes and then that is ready to go so let's play this and see if it works brilliant so here we have our song name our songs and in the second line we have um, our name so if we press play we get the name of the song ah so so here we go so here we have the song in the bottom so in order to change the layout and have that at the top we type in we put the song title here where we have our pack and we put that at the top here and then we press play now and then we play the name of the song we get our song here like that so if we go to our folder more songs and we copy this into our playlist folder like so and then we we run this code we should have the playlist updating like so there we go so now we have five songs instead of the two we had earlier and then we can play these like so and we get the name of the song as well like that and then we can stop it and then we can play the next one you see here that and then we do the same for that one to check they all working yeah so that is how we create a playlist in an audio player and have it so that you can play the song that you select. So I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Check out part one of this tutorial. If you've only just seen part two, come in at part two. And don't forget to check out my other tutorials and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.